Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today we're going to be doing a new and improved power wash tumbler. Today I'm going to be using a sublimated 20 ounce tumbler from AB Designs and I'm going to do my spray paint glitter method using the McCall Blue from Rustoleum and Patriotic from AB Designs. Once you have your tumbler completely spray painted, you want to go immediately in and go ahead and glitter it. Once your tumbler is completely glittered, you're going to want this to dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes before using the clear from Rust-Oleum to seal it. You're going to want that to dry for another 15 to 20 minutes before you go in with your first coat of epoxy. I do do a first coat of epoxy over this tumbler using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY, but I do this off camera. Now that we're about three hours in, this tumbler is now ready for its decal. I will be using a super cute decal that has a white backing from AB Designs. This particular decal, because it has a white backing, is similar to a clear cast, except with it having a white backing, it can go on any color spray painted tumbler and or glitter tumbler. Once we have this centered on the tumbler where we want it, we wanna make sure that we start from the center and work our way out. This will help prevent any wrinkles and or air pockets. The blessing of these decals, whether they're clear or with the white backing, is they do not need to be sealed. Once you are happy with your placement of your decal, you're now ready to take this right outside and you're going to want to spritz this with the power wash first and immediately following with the spray paint of your choice. I really wanted to show you guys an updated version of this Dawn Power Wash method, but unfortunately, I could not take my equipment outside as I was trying to fight the on and off rain. But you will soon see the outcome of the Power Wash spray paint method. Here's now what our tumbler looks like after the power wash method, and as you'll notice, I'm already into the second coat of epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I am using the Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. For its third and final coat of epoxy, I will use Counterculture DIY Artist Resin. As with any coats of epoxy, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. So while our super cute tumbler cures, let's go ahead and jump right into the topper. So here are all of the parts that are gonna go for my topper today. As you will notice that I'm gonna be using the UV light and the UV resin, both from Counterculture DIY. I also have approximately 100 little duckies that I purchased from Amazon and these super cute, already rainbow-like bubbles that are actually beads that I found on Amazon with a little bit of research as I really wanted to make the topper as light as possible. So here I've already done the magnets with my coaster as well as link those magnets to the lid. I have shown this in other previous tutorials, so I'll be more than happy to link those down in the description for you below. So basically what I'm gonna do is spread out a little bit onto the coaster and I'm gonna go ahead and use a paintbrush to thin this out. Now you'll notice that I started out initially by placing one bead at a time. That was gonna take me forever. So once we get past like three or four, maybe five of these, you'll notice that I just dump them on to the coaster mold and I just kind of organize them at best and then I bring the light to the coaster mold and I go ahead and seal them to the coaster.
So at this point, you can really decide just how big or how small you really want your topper to build up. And I think that that is truly a personal preference. A lot of people do not like their toppers to be super high. Well, I like to be a tad bit extra. So I like to build my toppers up as much as I possibly can. You will also notice each time that I put this from underneath the light, after I've built up, I always turn this upside down just to allow things to drop off if they're going to drop off and then I know where to kind of keep going. I know it looks like I'm drizzling a lot, but I'm really not. And honestly, I'm just putting another coating on here just to kind of seal what's there and add to it. Because again, I like to build mine up pretty high. So again, just continue to build your bubbles to your preference, and once you're happy with that, start adding in your little ducks. Once I had all three of my little duckies into place, I think I let this sit probably five minutes uh, repeatedly underneath the UV lamp just to make sure everything was gonna be nice and secure. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon.